Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can create a personal folder in your own computer to which you can store items from Outlook. You have to do this if you are not connected to a Microsoft Exchange server and are using Outlook on a standalone computer. Even if you do have an Exchange server, you can create personal folders to which you can manually store Outlook items. A personal folder is a file type that ends with a .pst file extension. If you do not have an Exchange Server mailbox, then a personal folder is automatically created when you initially configure your email accounts in Outlook. This is the folder that contains your email, such as your inbox and other items. If you use a personal folder for item storage, you hold the items on your computer in a folder that no one else but you can access. You can view your folders by clicking the Folder List button that appears within the navigation bar. You can create a personal folder in Outlook 2013 through 2010 by clicking the File tab in the ribbon and then clicking the Info command at the left side of the Backstage view. To the right of that, click the Account Settings button and then choose the Account Settings command from the button's drop-down menu to open the Account Settings dialog box. In this dialog box, click the Data Files tab. Then click the Add button on this tab to open the Create or Open Outlook Data File dialog box. Here you can navigate to the folder where you wish to create the new personal folder and then type a name for the folder into the file name field. When you're finished, click the OK button to create the personal folder data file. The file will then appear within the data files tab in the account settings dialog box. When you're finished, click the close button. To create a personal folder in Outlook 2007, select File, New, then Outlook Data File from the menu bar. This will open the new Outlook Data File dialog box, where you select Office Outlook Personal Folders File PST in the dialog box to create a new personal folder data file. Then click OK to continue. Outlook 2007 will then launch the Create or Open Outlook Data File dialog box. You can then navigate to the folder where you wish to create the new personal folder and type a name for it into the file name text box. When you're finished, click the OK button to create the personal folder data file. At that point, the Create Microsoft Personal Folders dialog box will appear. Type the name for the folder as you want it to appear in your folder list by typing it into the name text box. You can also set a password for access to the folder by typing the desired password into the Password and Verify Password text boxes. Once you set the folder settings as needed, click OK to save the folder. In both versions, if you're viewing the folder list within the navigation bar, you will note that you now have a new item with the name that you entered appear within the folder list. It will also have its own Deleted Items folder. You can click on the folder to view the contents of the folder. You can also move your items from other Outlook folders into this folder if desired. If you want to close the personal folder, you can simply right click on the entry within the folder list and choose the Close Folder Name command from the pop-up menu that appears. This will remove the entry from the folder list as well. You can open a personal folder to add it to the folder list. To do this in Outlook 2013 through 2010, click the File tab in the ribbon and then click the Open and Export command called the Open command in 2010 at the left side of the Backstage view. To the right of that, click the Open Outlook Data File button. To do this in Outlook 2007, select File then open, 
then Outlook data file from the menu bar. At that point, in both versions, the Open Outlook data file dialog box will appear, allowing you to navigate to the folder where you saved the personal folder set. Click it to select it, and then click the OK button to open the personal folders. This will place the personal folder icon back into your folder list. To delete a personal folder, first make sure that the folder is closed in Outlook. If using Outlook, you need to exit Outlook entirely, as you will not be able to delete the folder while Outlook is running. Then use the Windows system to navigate to the folder into which you saved your personal folder set. Click it to select it, and press Delete on your keyboard to send that folder to your computer's recycle bin. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.